behalf of Gifted Expansion House, I welcome you to another episode of our online class today. In today's class, I'll be teaching you how to make a padded pencil gown. Yes, a padded pencil gown, just like the one you're seeing now. Follow us to the end. And I believe and trust that by the end of this class, you'll be able to ascertain more. Thank you. First of all, we'll make the upper bodice, which is the bustier part of it. And then when we are done with the upper bodice, we'll now cut the pencil, that will be the pencil lower part that will be attached to the upper bodice. Here, I've already cut out the front upper bodice. I'm using this for my front blouse. To make this padded pencil gown, we we'll first of all cut out the upper bodies because we'll be working with a half length. So we'll cut out the upper bodies and then cut the lower part, which is the pencil part, and then join both of them together. That's how we are going to do it. And here, this is the upper bodies. I've already cut it. This is the front blouse for the upper parts. These are the following measurements we'll be needing for this work. Now let's Proceed. To make this padded blouse, you first of all make use of the biggest part of your upper bodies. Like I said in my previous video, the biggest part of my upper bodies here, since I'm stopping at the half length, the biggest part is my bust. And then our bust measurement, we have a bust of 37, and I'm dividing the bust by 4 plus 5 inches seam allowance. So when I take my calculation for the bust, I'll arrive at 14.25. Now 14.25 is going to be what I'll use to fold this fabric. I'll fold this fabric with 14.25. See, it's here. This is my 14.25. It's almost 15, and I'm okay with that. So I'll be using this to make the blouse. See, it's, it's on fold. Make sure you place it on fold before taking the measurement. Now, the next thing I'll do here is to take my nipple to nipple measurement. And this nipple to nipple measurement, I'm not going to measure it out and draw. Rather, I'll fold it from this fabric, just like this. After I fold it into two, I'll fold again the second time, like this. This will be my nipple to nipple, but I have to measure it out. So I'm working with a nipple to nipple of eight, divide by two, four, plus 0 0.5 inch, which is 4.5. So I'll mark out 4.5 here for my nipple to nipple. It's not up to 4.5, so I'll make it 4. Point. Now this is 4.5 here. I have 4.5 here. This 4.5, I'll take it all the way down. Make sure you have the same measurement all the way down. This is 4.5 all the way here. 4.5. This is 4.5. Make sure you get it all the way. Okay. So after this, you can use your office pin to put it on hold or secure it so that you're not going to make mistakes. So I'll use my office pin to hold it here. I also also hold it here. So I can now conveniently work with my fabric. I've taken my nipple to nipple measurement. I repeat what I said earlier. I put my fabric on fold with my bust measurement, and then I refold again with my nipple to nipple measurement. But before that, sorry, this is my starting point here. This line here is my starting point. I marked it out one inch for my starting point. And then this line here is my half length. See it. This is my seam allowance, two inches seam allowance. I hope you are clear with this. I did that before folding my nipple to nipple measurement. Okay. Now I can extend this line now, this starting point line. I can even extend it like this to this place, and this one as well. I can extend it this half length. I can extend the line and my seam allowance so that it will, it will correspond with other lines. The next measurement I'll be taking from this line is my chest line. I'm working with a chest line of 
8.5. I'm working with a just line of 8.5. This is my 8.5 here. I'll mark it all the way. 8.5. And then connect it with your ruler. Always connect with your ruler to get a straight line. The next one, I'm taking my boss point. I'm working with a boss point of 9. I'm working with a boss point of 9. This is my boss point here. Connect it as well, all the way. This is my 9. I'll mark it out. And the next one, my under bust measurement. I'm working with an under bust of um, another bust of 14. Yeah, this is my under bust here, 14. I'll mark it out and extend the line as well. Right now, I've gotten the measurement I need for this work. So i move to the next stage. And the next stage is taking my dart. I have to take my dart on this area, this nipple to nipple area. So up here, I'll mark one inch up here. i place my tape like this and mark one inch. Okay? On this uh, starting point, I marked out one inch for my dart. The next place I'll mark my dart is under my bust. Now on the other bust, I'll use 1.5 inches. I'll mark out 1.5 like this. See it? 1.5. You can equally put it like this. You can still place it like this and mark 1.5 anyway. Then you can even use 1.25 here, depending uh, just how you want it to look like. But I'm okay with 1.5. And then I'll now if the person you are making your cloth for, if you're the person that the person you are making the cloth for has told me, this 1.5 you marked here, when you come down here, extend it, reduce it to 1.25 or even 1. But if the person you are working for is on the slim side, maybe the person doesn't have told me, you simply extend this line down, simply take it down like this. That's all. So in this case, I have 1.5 here. I'll mark 1.25 here because the person is not all that slim. Another thing I'll do on my bust area, you can mark half inch just to enable you curve your that. So the next thing I'll do here, I'm going to curve, I'm going to connect like that. I'll connect this one to this half I marked here, like this. I see it. And then I can use my curve ruler to do for this area, to connect this area like this. But if you don't have a curve ruler, it's still okay. You can do it with your free hand or with your ruler. You just be mindful of this place so that it will not be pointed. It will not be pointed here. Yeah. And then I'll connect this together like this. I'm making the chalk area of yours. The one is covering so that you can see the marks. I think I'm scrubbing it once more, just so that you can see what I'm marking. So, you can see the shape that's already formed. I want to take my shoulder measurement. Now I'm working with a shoulder of 16. This shoulder, you divide it by 2 to get 8. And then, this is my 8 here. But before that, I'll check what I have here. I'll check what I have here, between this line, this line here, to this point. Okay, to this point, this nipple, to nipple that I folded. What I have is 3.5. This 3.5 here, I'll remove it off like this. See how I placed it? I'll place the 3.5 like this. You cannot just take the measurement and take it straight away if you're fully, if you're using this method. So you have to measure what you have here. Measure what you have here and then take it off like this. So this is my eight for the shoulder. Shoulder is 16 divided by two eight. See the eight here. You know I removed one inch. I marked out one inch on this dance. This fat that I'm at here is one inch. So I'll add it here. And I also need like half inch or even one to join my dart. 
So every one of it can go. It then means the eight inches of my shoulder, I'll be adding like 1.5 or two inches extra. Okay, I'll be adding like 1.5 inch or two inches. So eight plus 1.5, I'll get 9.5. If you want to add two, it's okay. Now I just have to extend this line to my chest line. This now becomes my armhole, say it's here. And this becomes my shoulder. And my neck also is there. The next thing I'll do is to uh, construct my armhole. I need to construct this armhole. How do I do that? Well, first of all, remove uh, between half inch to one inch from my shoulder slant. When I place it on this cake, I'll need to get the midpoint of eight. The midpoint of eight is four. But since we're working on a bust set blouse, before I take this midpoint, I'll first of all take my bust measurement like this. My bust measurement happens to be 37 divided by 4 is 9.25. Now, I'll measure first what I have here. I have 4.5. I'll remove, I'll take off the 4.5 off like this. And then, this is my 9.25 here. This 9.25, I'm going to add 3 inches seam allowance to it. Now, 9.25 plus 3 will give me about 12.25. So, I'll mark my 12.25 here. Are you okay with that? Extend this line off with 0 0.5 inch or 1 inch, depending on the size of the person you are working with. The person is on the minute side, you can use 0 0.5. The person is on the large side, you can use 1 inch. So, and then, the next thing now, I'll connect my arm pull like this. I'll start it from here, take it to this line here before drawing it standing it down so like this you give me my ample sorry yeah this becomes my ample after constructing the ample I'll move to the next stage which is my underbust on the underbust I need to get the underbust circumference my other bus circumference is 10.75, which means I have 31 for my other bus divided by 4 plus 3. Remember, when you are doing this part, when you're working on this part, always add 3 inches. It's no longer 5 inches. We use 5 inches, same allowance initially because of this area, which means 2 inches will come here and 3 inches is for this one. Okay? So I added 3 inches, same allowance here. I also add 3 inches here. So anything I'm doing here, I'm working with three inches and no more five. Now my other bus, I said I'll be using another bus of 10.75. What I need to do now is I'll first measure what I have here. Measure out what I have here. I have 3.25 here. I have 3.25. Now I'll remove that 3.25 off. I'll remove it and check my 10.25. 7.5. This is why this is 10.5, 10.75 is here. Okay. The next place we'll be taking our measurement is the half length or the waist measurement. Now, my half length, you see it here. I need to take my waist on this half length. Now, to get my waist, I'll check what I have here. I have also um, about 3.25 here. I'll remove it off like this. Take it off and then I'll be working with a waist of 32.5 divided by 4 plus 3 is 11.2, 11 11.875. Okay, see my 11.875 here, almost 12. I'll mark it. So I'll now connect this line from my boss here, this is the boss, to the under boss and down to my. Uh, half length. Now, we are supposed to mark out our neck measurement, but I prefer I prefer joining my fabric before um, tracing out my neck. It gives me more accurate work. So I'll leave this neck area. When I have coupled my fabric, I'll now uh, cut out my neck. So let's, let's cut out our marking. So here now, uh, I will not cut off this starting point. I will not cut it off now because I have not marked out my shoulder slant. 
I've not marked out my shoulder slant. So I'll leave it like this until when I'll be cutting off my neck. I'll mark out my shoulder slant. Now let's see what we have here. This is the center part, and this is the side part. Wow, looks so lovely. This is what we have here for the front bustier dress. So we have this. Now we'll move, we'll proceed to the back to cut the back area.